Welcome to our email and SMS marketing platform. In this video, we'll take you through the basics of our system, including the dashboard, lists and forms, contacts, messages, automation options and reporting. Let's jump right in with the dashboard. Here on the dashboard, we can see key account activity, contact and email stats, email performance, shortcuts to some of our most recent emails and some handy tips and tricks. Underneath, we have our calendar, which lets you view email send activity as well as give you the ability to create and assign tasks or events for other account users, complete with reminders and descriptions. We also have shortcuts to create a new email, new SMS, add or import contacts, or create a new list. Finally, at the top right, we have quick links to access help as well as your account details. The lists and forms area is where your contact lists and their associated forms are stored. You can also use folders to improve list management. Let's start by importing some contacts. We'll use the upload a file option. Begin by selecting the list to add your contacts to or create a new one, then select the file we'd like to import from our computer. Click next, then finish the import. Now that we have our newly imported contacts in our new list, let's take a look at the forms associated with this list. Forms can be embedded on your website and are a way to capture data. You can have subscription forms, which are used by contacts to subscribe to your list. You can have preference forms, which are used by contacts to update their subscription preferences. You can have update profile forms, which are used by contacts to update the information already on file or add to it. And you can have unsubscribe forms, which are used by contacts to unsubscribe from your list. If you're looking to embed one of these forms on your website, for example, to gain newsletter subscribers, you can use the add form to website function to view the required code in various formats, as well as the ability to email the code to someone such as your web developer. Now that we have our contacts imported, let's take a look at the contacts area. At the top, we can select the folder and list to view with a contact search function sitting underneath. Our lists fields are shown underneath that, and you can use the table settings icon to bring more fields into view. We also have a spreadsheet view, which you can use to copy and paste data and work within your list much like you would a spreadsheet. Back on the main contacts view, you can also run an advanced search. edit or unsubscribe contacts, as well as download your contact list. Once you have your contacts, it's time to send an SMS or build an email. Here in the messages section, you can view your existing messages, again with a folder function for improved message management. Selecting an existing message here lets you perform a number of functions, such as deleting, moving or copying a message, as well as viewing the details of a message, which gives you the ability to rename the message, change the subject, as well as edit the from name and email address, among other things. Let's create a new email message. As you can see, our email builder has an ever-growing selection of drag and drop email templates available to make getting started easy. Firstly, let's take a quick look at this travel template. As you can see, there are a number of different components which make up this email template, such as an image component, which contains our logo, a web links component, various paragraph components with images sitting to the left or right, some buttons, and so on. Components can easily be dragged around as shown. You can also duplicate or delete components using the icons provided. To add a new component into your email message, it's as easy as dragging your desired component into your email from the sidebar and then customizing it. When you're working with components that contain text, you'll see this larger toolbar appear, which you can use to format the text add bullets or numbered lists, change the text alignment, add hyperlinks, images, and so on. However, let's jump back out and build a new email from scratch to see how easy it is. In this example, we're going to build an email to send to our subscribers announcing our new recipe club. For this, we'll use the blank template. First off, let's drag in a view online component, which lets recipients view your email on the web. Secondly, we'll add an image component for our email banner. Once added, we can double click it to set the image, either by uploading one from our computer or by selecting an existing one from the image library. Let's select our recipe club email banner. 
Next up, we'll add a paragraph component and edit the text. Here in the title, we'll add the recipient's first name as a mail merge field, otherwise known as a wildcard. Let's type some text into the content area and then change the image as well. By the way, you can edit the settings of any component over to the right hand side. In this case, we can increase the image size, change the alignment and turn sections on or off, such as the title, image or the call to action. In this case, let's turn off the call to action. You can also add images inside the text area. Let's click the Insert Image button from the toolbar and navigate to our Button folder, which you'll have access to as well. These are pre-made buttons that we have available for you. So let's put in a Subscribe button. We'll make it a little bit smaller. And there we go. Now let's link this image so that when someone clicks it, it goes to our Recipe Club subscription form but you could add in any hyperlink, such as a page on your website. Now we'll add an image that can act as a nice divider between the various parts of our email. Drag in the image component, double click to edit, choose our divider, and we're done. If you're after more of a simple dividing line for your email, you can also drag in a spacer element change the background colour and then reduce the size down to suit. Let's add a text component so we can put in a title for our next section. Then add an image component and add our store map. Finally, let's add a button component and link it to our website. You can change the text, the colour, the corner rounding and the position. To add the link, just click the chain icon. Here you can link to a website or any of your existing forms that you have in the system, such as a subscription form for one of your other lists that you might have. By the way, most of our components support multiple column layouts. Let's try this by duplicating our button, then dragging it up next to the existing one. There we go. Up to three columns are actually supported. This is actually how we achieved our three column image section from the travel template that we saw earlier in this video. Last of all, let's add a footer component and change the logo and put some text or links to the left hand side. There you have it, we've just built an email. Let's save it, give it a name, and then preview it. Before sending the email, we recommend testing it. To do so, click test along the top. Here you can either send the email to yourself or your colleagues for testing, or use our Litmus inbox testing service which lets you see how your email renders in a range of different email clients. For now, let's send our email. Here on the screen, you can set your from name and email address, as well as your subject line. You can also A-B test your subject line. A-B testing means that the system will send the same email with two of your different subject lines to a small percentage of your subscribers to see which subject line gets the highest open rate. Then after a period of time, we recommend four hours, it will send the version with the winning subject line to the remaining recipients on your list. Now let's select our contacts. You can send to your entire list, manually choose the recipients to receive this email, use a search, or only send it to those who have not yet received this message. Let's use our entire list and send to that. Now that our message is sent, let's head on over to the reports section where we can see in real time how our email is performing in terms of the open rate, click-throughs, delivery and bounce rates. 
Mail client and device details are also shown, and we have a handy click map for seeing which links in your email were clicked on. Finally, let's briefly look at the two remaining sections, automation and integrations. Automation lets you set up automated emails or SMS messages based on triggers, such as welcoming a new subscriber, sending an email on the contact's birthday, and so on. We also have an advanced automation function available in some account types, which takes this to the next level, with detailed triggers, advanced search criteria, and numerous actions that can occur over multiple steps. Lastly, we have integrations, which is where you can integrate our system with a number of third-party apps or with Zapier, a tool that lets you connect web apps together. You can set up these various integrations here. One last thing before we finish. Did you know that a poor sender reputation means that your emails can get blocked by major email providers such as Gmail and Outlook? To improve your sender reputation, ensure you are sending authenticated emails from our platform. This can be set up via the Account Settings section on the Domains tab. Add your domain here, then use our handy form to send the details to your IT or email hosting provider so they can set up the appropriate records for you on your domain. We hope you enjoyed this quick product walkthrough video. There's so much more to see, do and try, such as event integrations, conditional content, SMS and the handling of SMS replies, as well as automated posting to social media. For more details, videos and how-to guides, jump onto our help center or reach out to our support team if you need a hand.